Hello everyone. In our journey, we have seen many business tycoons. One common habit among these individuals is that they love to read and take action. Today's video is brought to you by a very special short book titled Thinking. The book is a guide to help you think like them, but most importantly, it will help you take action. Check out the link in the description. It is available only on Amazon in three formats: Kindle, paperback, and audiobook. And now, let's begin with our video. Hello and welcome to TFC. I'm Navin. This time, let's start our journey by visiting a cinema hall. In this world of movies, from the old to the new, we have seen one common theme: friendship. While in the business world, one of the best examples of real-life friendship are these two: Henning Larsen and Soren Tubro. Born in Denmark, they both were school friends, studied engineering, joined the same company. In the mid 1930s both were sent to India to set up a cement plant on a holiday in Mathiran a hill station near Mumbai like many friends planning their future the two of them decided to start their own company soon they left their job and in Mumbai started a small partnership firm they called it Larsen and Tupro They began selling dairy equipment imported from Denmark but a year later the second world war started And in 1940 Denmark got invaded by Germany the imports stopped they thought their business was over they should probably get back to their job but they didn't want to give up so they tried again this time instead of importing they began manufacturing dairy equipment in India they later started repairing ships and finally got their first major contract to build a soda ash plant for the Tata group this major contract began the remarkable journey of Larsen and Tupro now 8 decades later the revenue of their company is greater than US steel Colgate Palmolive and around 8 times more than FL Smith the company where Larsen and Dubro were earlier working before we begin our journey one question remains to be answered who owns LNT as of now LIC is LNT's biggest shareholder the second biggest shareholders of the company are its employees yes the LNT employee welfare fund holds around 12% of the company so without any further delay let's witness the massive business empire of Larsen and Tubro we will start our journey in the scenic Barbados here the popular Kensington Oval Stadium was built by LNT In the rest of North America, LNT operates 3 IT and engineering services companies which include LNT Infotech, their newly acquired billion dollar IT company Mindtree and a technology services company. In all, these companies operate over 30 delivery centers across North America. Let's move to South America and reach Brazil. Here, LNT has supplied multi-million dollar heavy engineering equipments to Petrobras oil refinery while in near by Surinam the group has been involved in a 27 km transmission line project now let's travel to africa here lnt has constructed a major soda ash plant in kenya a power generation project in tanzania and has also been involved in multiple transmission projects across africa In the scenic Mauritius, LNT has constructed Swami Vivekananda Center, Cyber Tower building which was renamed as Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee Tower and is currently building a metro project. Recently, phase 1 of the metro was jointly inaugurated by Prime Ministers of Mauritius and India. Moving to Europe, here LNT's IT companies are located in 13 countries and the group owns SX based Marine Solutions company ServoWatch. While in Russia, LNT has constructed a residential township at Zernograd. Now, let's move to Asia and land in the vibrant Malaysia. Here, the group owns a switchgear company and has also constructed multiple bridges, manufacturing plants, and a transmission project in peninsular Malaysia. Moving to Central Asia, we will reach the former Soviet country of Uzbekistan. Here, the group has constructed hotels in Samarkand and Bukhara. From Chile to Uzbekistan, let's travel to the sandy Middle East. Here, LNT has constructed the Diplomat Hotel in Bahrain, a stadium in Iraq, Indian Embassy building, pipeline and transmission projects in Kuwait, 
Ahmad Medical City and Al Jazeera buildings in Qatar. Here, LNT is also jointly constructing Doha Metro and a football stadium for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Now, from the beaches of Doha, let's take a boat ride and reach Oman. Here, LNT operates a modular fabrication plant and has been involved in the construction of New Salala and Al Dakum airports, Ministry of Manpower building, a sports complex, road and transmission projects, multiple manufacturing plants, and is even jointly constructing a five-star hotel in Muscat. In nearby Saudi Arabia, LNT has been involved in construction of multiple hospitals, schools, power transmission projects, and also owns a manufacturing plant. Moreover, LNT is also jointly involved in construction of Riyadh Metro project. While Saudi Aramco is one of LNT's major customer from Saudi, let's move to UAE and reach Abu Dhabi. Here, LNT is involved in construction of NMC Specialty Hospital, expansion of Abu Dhabi Airport, and Sheikh Khalifa Interchange. While in nearby Dubai, LNT has built multiple residential and commercial complexes, schools, bridges, and power transmission projects. Moreover, in Dubai, LNT's electrical and automation division also operates a manufacturing plant. This electrical division of LNT is about to be acquired by Schneider. Now let's move to South Asia. Here, LNT has constructed a cement plant in Bangladesh, a power plant in Sri Lanka, hydroelectric project in Bhutan and Nepal, and the scenic Taj Resort in Maldives. As we have reached the picturesque Maldives, let's take a flight from Malay Airport and finally reach India. But which airport shall we land in? Bangalore, Delhi, or Mumbai? All these airports have one thing in common. You guessed it right. LNT has been jointly involved in the construction of all these airports. In India, LNT has constructed over 3,000 high-rise buildings, over 40 IT parks, over 7,800 lane kilometers of roads, over 30 hospitals, over 15 cement factories, multiple automobile factories, metros, stadiums, shopping malls, educational institutions including Indian School of Business Hyderabad, India's first monorail, multiple five-star hotels like Taj Bangaluru and Sahara Star in Mumbai and has also completed most of the construction work of the world's tallest statue, Statue of Unity. Moreover, LNT is also one of the leading manufacturers of construction and mining equipment, industrial valves, and even operates a financial services company with over $10 billion asset under management. Overall in India, LNT operates a real estate company, Hyderabad Metro, over 30 toll plazas, over 20 IT delivery centers, a power plant in Punjab, skill training institutes, multiple manufacturing facilities, and is also involved in ISRO's space projects. While LNT has also built over 50 defense vessels, which include petrol vessels, boats and even submarines. Not only that, LNT has also been involved in social projects through its charitable trust which runs health centers in 10 locations and also operates 13 mobile clinics impacting 400 villages. To end this journey, started by two friends 8 decades ago, all I can say, this is Larson and Two Bros massive business empire. Also a final shout out to our patron for today's video, the publishers of Thinking. Like the friends Larson and Tubro, start to think and take action by building yourself up step by step. Thank you.